Hey everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed. Today's video is another Operation Christmas Child shoebox that I'd like to share with you. I've packed it for a 10 to 14 year old girl and it has a gardening theme. And I planned to share it with you today because today is National Gardening Day. Second to maybe packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. One of my most favorite pastimes or hobbies is gardening. As a matter of fact, I was at Lowe's yesterday and I dropped a little over a hundred dollars on mulch and plants and, and what have you. So while you are watching this video, I'm going to be out in the yard gardening. On the inside of the lid, I decided to do a little crafting here. <laughs> I had some little um, felt flower stickers that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby that I decided to use and add stems of pipe cleaners and little felt leaves and I just glued it on there and I wrote the words, you are loved. And when she peeks inside her box, that's what she'll see. The first thing she may pull out of her box would be Flitter, this pretty Thai beanie butterfly. Flitter is one of my favorite beanie babies. She's so pretty and colorful. I think a young girl would enjoy having that to put on her bed or decorate her space. She has a very pretty pink poppet flower I got on clearance at Walmart recently. I, I think I probably paid a dollar for this, a dollar or less, and it's a real nice one, nice quality that I think will last for a long time. This young lady has a dress. This was an after Easter clearance dress from, oh gosh, last year or the year before, but I thought it was great for a garden box with the two bunnies and the butterflies on it. I thought it was pretty in this pretty coral color. This is a, a girl's extra large 1416. And I think I paid a dollar for it. I either, pay, either paid a dollar or 50 cents, but it was a deal. Then I gave her one of these uh, Kendall and Kylie little mini backpacks to be worn as a purse that I picked up not too long ago at the Dollar Tree in the pretty butterfly pattern. I thought it went great with her dress with the butterflies around the little bunnies. And I thought that would be a perfect addition for a girl this age. I also gave her some hair accessories in that peach color that match her dress so well. Three scrunchies and three pairs of earrings, a peach rhinestone, some little hearts, and some little flowers. These were 45 cents from Dollar General. Not recently, but quite some time ago. She has a pair of flip-flops that have that same peach color as is in her dress. And I got those on clearance at Walgreens. She has a flower headband just for fun. It has roses and some rhinestone kitty ears on them. And they go well with her dress. She also has a pair of sunglasses in a pretty floral sunglass case that has that snap closure. And they are a pair of the really nice ones that I found last year at Dollar Tree. These are by Blue Gem and they're black, which picks up the black in the butterflies. So we have a little contrast to her dress and uh, the sunglass case also came from Dollar Tree. She has a nice wide tooth comb in peach that I got not too long ago on Shein. She has a very pretty mirrored compact with flowers on both sides 
and it says flower on it. Double-sided mirror, and I got that on Shein as well. She's got a beautiful print bandana that I found at Walmart on clearance for 50 cents. And it has that peachy pink color that I think also goes well with her dress. This is a gardening box, so of course I gave her some gardening tools. I gave her a trowel and a claw, and these are really nice. They have wooden handles and little leather loops for her to hang them up, and they're in pink and gold. Aren't those pretty? Kind of a peachy pink color. And I got these on clearance at Walgreens the same time I bought these flip-flops. I got them for $1.29, the, the, the set. And I paired it with a pair of pink gardening gloves from the Dollar Tree. And these are pretty decent quality. I use these myself in my garden. So hopefully she'll enjoy having these and being able to do a little bit of gardening. She has a very cute mini deck of playing cards that comes in its own hard plastic storage case. A little snail on the front of the cards. They're adorable. Some of you all might recognize these from uh, Holler. I got these on holler.com when they were still around. Very cute. I gave her a purple jump rope and three little bounce balls in pink, purple, and green. I've given her one of the friendship bracelet making kits that I put together using four skeins of thread that were contributed by Denise L. and some illustrated instructions that I got off of the internet on how to make a simple friendship bracelet. There's photographs, illustrations, and written instructions as well. She has a very pretty coloring book of flowers that I got on clearance at Dollar General for 30 cents. Very pretty book. And I've given her a set of 12 colored pencils so she can color in that book and some stackable crayons. These are little bunny crayons that were contributed by my friend Sally. She has two pairs of underwear that I slipped into a little peach colored organza bag. One of her pairs of underwear is peach. I think this is a ladies small and this is a girls 14. And a set of six reusable menstrual pads. The wet bag and two of the pads are in this pretty garden print with butterflies. And the other four pads are ladybugs and birds. I also slipped inside the bag some laminated care instructions, how to wash and wear her pads, four white clothespins, just in case she needs something to hang them up to dry, and a couple of big safety pins just for extra security. She has two pairs of socks, a white pair with this pretty pinky peach glittery edging around the ankle, and another pair I think I got at Target for 10 cents at one point in time has potted plants on it, which I thought were perfect for her gardening box. She has a pretty journal. It says dream big on the front and the letters of big are cut out to reveal the print behind it on the first page of the journal. And a butterfly pom-pom novelty pen that fits nicely into the spiral. I gave her a little pad of post-it notes shaped like a rose. I'm leaving it in the packaging just so it, it doesn't get messed up. She has a peach colored composition notebook for school. A pencil pouch with an assortment of school supplies. A pair of scissors from Joan. 
a six inch ruler contributed by Angie, and then an assortment of pencils and pens. She's got a red, black, and blue pen and eight or nine pencils in here. Some of them are number two and some of them are decorated pencils with little flowers and butterflies and a couple of them have cute little garden erasers on them. Butterfly and a bird. Her other erasers are a little flower eraser, some colorful cap erasers, and a white block eraser. She has a peach colored solar calculator and a peach enclosed pencil sharpener that all match her peach composition notebook. All of those came from Dollar General after back to school last year on clearance. She has a toothbrush contributed by Joan Cowan and I tucked a few more hygiene items into this little organza bag. She has a Jolly Rancher watermelon flavored lip balm, a pair of fingernail clippers, and a couple of butterfly barrettes that match her dress perfectly in this peach glitter that's covered with like a pearlized vinyl and those came from Walmart after Easter clearance last year. I gave her a set of three emery boards in this pretty garden pattern. We have lemons, rainbows, and some flowers. She's got a little egg container painted like a butterfly filled with little trinkets, a whistle, from Amazon. A wooden cross, a little yellow one. This is Playside Creations from Hobby Lobby that I added. A multicolored satin cord to, and a little bead at the top. Also inside her egg is a pretty necklace with what looks like is a pressed flower inside. I don't think it's a real pressed flower though. It's a very pretty necklace on a black cord. I got this on Shein quite some time ago and it goes very well with her dress and a couple of friendship bracelets with butterflies on them. One in pink and one in a multicolor that I also got on Shein quite some time ago. These are pullback butterflies. <laughs> they work like pull pullback cars, but they're butterflies. And I got these on Shein as well. <laughs> Very cute. They work really well. She's got a blow up ladybug ball that looks like this in her box, but looks like this when it's blown up. And this was contributed by Sally. She sent a package of like four of them, I think, so you'll be seeing these again. But I thought they were so cute. She got these on Oriental Trading. She has one more toy, also a contribution. This one from Denise L. It's a mini La La Loopsy doll. And, oh gosh, I've, I've thrown her packaging away, so her name escapes me. I want to say it's April Showers. I think it is. April showers. It's April something. But her skirt is a little umbrella. And she has an umbrella. She also has a little bird. A watering can. And a pinwheel. She's very cute. She's got some pretty garden stickers. This was also a contribution from Denise L. I think these came from Hobby Lobby. These are puffy garden stickers with flowers, birds, and butterflies. Some garden bugs, garden gnomes and flowers, and wheelbarrows, bird houses and mushrooms, watering cans. A prayer card with flowers, 
I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Psalm 9-1. She has a Christmas card with a letter and photo from me. And the last thing in her box is a pretty floral tote with that peach color in it. That opens up into a nice size tote bag for her. Quite large. Wow, larger than I thought. So she can tote all her items home with this or to school. I hope you enjoyed this garden themed shoe box. I know it makes me want to go out and work in my garden. So I hope you got some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.